invite um, Martin Ward to present your submission. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. And thanks for this opportunity to speak to you. I want to speak about you saving costs, saving money for the taxpayers. I'm speaking with two submissions. One I made early in the process, and the second was submitted on my behalf via the Mayor and comprises correspondence between me and her and the staff and with the CE cut in, I believe. Common to both was a observation that as councillors, as I understand it, your role in governance correctly is to focus on the headlines in the LTP, um, adjusting items, the large items by time or amount. Whereas I believe there's a great deal of money to be saved by the council within the budgets around the delivery in the line items around uh, operational expenditure, the OPEX. This is the territory of the CE principally and his staff and include things like contract services and their performance and the internal OPEX. Um, so while your governance role should or probably hopefully does keeps you out of the, the detail of that operation, you do have a opportunity to require or direct the CE to get into it on your behalf, chasing various things. The OPEX costs I submitted on included uh, one, community engagement and reserves planning, and expenditure by you in those two areas builds positive relationships with communities, and importantly, it leverages in-kind contributions from skilled NGOs and active citizens, effectively a subsidy back to council. It's a leveraging opportunity. And in reserves expenditure, if only for a short time, but ideally not, um, this needs a boost, and particularly to get tracks that are closed post-earthquake open again. It's 10 years, councillors, and the Redcliffe citizens want their tracks open again. From my correspondence with the Mayor, I gave examples of unnecessary expenditure in public right-of-way maintenance, road markings, and pocket park maintenance. There's money to be saved in those, and it can be found easily. In the correspondence with staff, there was acknowledgement that this was the case. And I want to leave you just with one example of where that expenditure uh, overcomes. Road marking was agreed by the staff to be a uh, potential waste and in the correspondence we found that while the council has in place monitoring metrics for under expenditure, complaints from the staff, from the citizens etc, it appears not in some areas to have me monitoring metrics for over expenditure. So until you have in place metrics to over monitor your over expenditure, you're going to be wasting money in contract services and in delivery. If any of you walk to work or walk with your, your dogs or cycle, take a look at the yellow road markings and see how many generations of yellow are still available on the ground that have been over marked unnecessarily. If you can move your yellow markings from annually to 18 months, in three years you'll save a third of your budget. There's lots of those to be found. It's the CEA's job to find them. It's your job, to, Director, to do so. Thank you. We do appreciate you coming in and actually making the submission. I think that they're very helpful suggestions in terms of... Um, in terms of looking out for those items of uh, OPEX, which uh, can save quite considerably over a period of time. So thank you. Um, Maddie um, Suri, is it? And Annette Purvis, Napuna Wise Sports.